EQS Mercedes-Benz SUV, as its name implies, the all-electric 2023 Mercedes-Benz EQS is the high-riding SUV alternative to the company's large, slick-back EQS luxury sedan. The two share a platform and myriad other components and have identical wheel base, but only the SUV offers a third row and seats for up to seven. Its interior feels airier than the sedan thanks to extra headroom, and its design and material quality are equally high-end. It's also available with Mercedes' new 56-inch hyperscreen, but while we're dazzled by the massive glass panel Starship Enterprise appearance that stretches across the dashboard from door to door, we're put off by its lack of physical controls. The lineup includes the 355 horsepower EQS 450 Plus and the 536 horsepower EQS 580. The former offers 305 miles of driving range per charge while the latter gives you 285. What's new for 2023? The 2023 EQS SUV is the latest to join Mercedes' growing portfolio of electric models that fall under the umbrella of the company's EQ sub-brand. It's the first SUV built on Mercedes' modular electric vehicle platform, which also underpins the EQE and EQS sedans, and it's expected to go on sale sometime later this year. The entry price for an EQS SUV is surprisingly close to the EQS sedan, but we doubt many buyers will stick with the base 450 plus base model. Not when the EQS 584MATIC model spec a more powerful punch. Still, the 450 Plus includes a lot of desirable standard features, such as an adaptive air suspension, rear axle steering, heated and ventilated front seats, a panoramic sunroof, a Burmester sound system, and more. We'd suggest the EQS 580 Formatic exclusive model, which adds that all-wheel drive powertrain as well as luxury features such as a head-up display, four-zone automatic climate control, and massaging front seats. EV motor, power, and performance, the EQS SUV is essentially a ray-bodied EQS sedan with an elevated seating position and more interior space, and its electric powertrains are similar, albeit not identical. The 450 Plus features a 335 horsepower electric motor that powers the rear wheels. The 508 EQS 580 produces 536 horsepower and 633 pound-feet of torque between its front and rear mounted electric motors, which provide all-wheel drive. The EQS SUV comes standard with an adjustable air suspension and a rear axle steering system that makes it surprisingly agile. Unlike the sedan, the SUV features an off-road drive mode that raises the suspension and alters the powertrain's behavior. During a ride-along in a prototype model, we experienced these settings firsthand on rugged terrain and were impressed with the vehicle's capabilities, even if we're convinced most people who buy an EQS SUV will never attempt such activities. On our first test drive of the production model, we noted much perkier acceleration from the EQS 580 and predict a 4.2 second run to 60 miles per hour when we finally get on in our office for testing. The 450 plus is no slouch though, and we imagine most drivers will find its power more than adequate. Handling is confident but not particularly satisfying and steering feedback is minimal, but the EQS SUV's on-road demeanor is comfortable and relaxing which is okay by us given its luxury mission. Range, charging, and battery life, although it uses the same 107.8kWh battery pack as the EQS sedan, the EQS SUV's estimated driving range isn't as impressive. 
The entry level 450 plus model offers a claimed range of 305 miles per charge while the all-wheel drive 450 Formatic and EQS 580 Formatic offer around 285 miles of driving before needing to be plugged in. Luckily, the EQS SUV can charge at speeds up to 200 kilowatts, which Mercedes says will take the battery from 10 to 80 percent in 31 minutes when connected to a compatible DC fast charger. Interior, comfort, and cargo. Inside, the EQS SUV features the type of rich materials and high-tech equipment that define modern-day Mercedes-Benz models. Its list of standard interior features include selectable ambient lighting, heated and ventilated front seats, leather upholstery, a panoramic sunroof, and wireless charging. The 56-inch hyperscreen is optional, the fit and finish is impressive, and the cabin is also rife with thoughtfully designed storage spaces, including a large bin below the floating center console. The EQS comes standard with two rows of seats that accommodate five passengers, but a third row is optional and adds seating for two more people. There's up to 31 cubic feet of cargo area behind the second row on five-seater models. Models fitted with the third row of seats max out at 28 cubes behind the second row, but that volume shrinks to seven cubes when the third row is in use.